This enormous fresh landslide is filled with potential fossils. We've walked along and noticed all sorts of exciting looking nodules that are ready to be revealed. In this video, we're going to be exposing an ichthyosaur vertebra, as well as several potential ammonite specimens. Shea is going to be revealing all of the fossils in this video. Let's have a look at the first specimen. Shea's noticed something here. Not entirely sure what he's found. What have we got? I've just spotted the outer edge of a nodule sticking out of this slab here. I've already got the chisel bedded into the slab and it looks like there's a nice split just over the top of the nodule. So with a few more hammer taps, I'm hoping we can remove this top layer of shale and get to the nodule. So let's give it a few more taps. Yeah, the slab loosened. Just need to remove some of the excess pieces as it is a rather large slab. Oh, the, the nodule's loose. There we go, that should get it. Oh, and there's been a crushed elegantisserus ammonite on top and a few bivalves. Let's give it a crack and see if there's anything further inside. Completely empty, unfortunately. Oh well. Should we try and get this smaller nodule out and see if there's anything inside? Yeah. This should come straight out. There we go, that's loose. Just take this top layer off. Hopefully I can get a nice split on it. See if there's anything inside. Oh, oh yeah! Oh lovely. You can just see the outer keel of an elegantisserus ammonite, but underneath this bit of shale here will be the rest of the ammonite. That was a really nice split. I really wasn't expecting an ammonite of this size to be in a nodule so small. It's beautiful. That's oh, a great find. It goes back together. Perfectly. Great work. Very nice. Really pleased with that one. Upon having a further look around, any sight of three dimensional specimens were few and far between. There's not many around whatsoever. There's actually not many fresh nodules ready to be picked up, really. Had a really good look, and Shea's found part of an ichthyosaur vertebra, as well as several really promising looking nodules. We did find a few nodules, which we'll be opening in another video. Coming up next, we're going to extract the partial ichthyosaur vertebra, which we just mentioned. We've spotted half an ichthyosaur vertebra, so let's chip it out. Put my safety glasses on. Peel up this little piece. Right. So it doesn't look like there's anything in this piece here, so we'll just leave this. And if we just look at this vert here, it looks like this piece is loose. Let's take it out. It's a 
shame that it's just half, but obviously it's broken. Still nice to find. Still a rare find. You don't find much bun. Very nice. I've just spotted an ammonite module in this slab over here. I brought along my big hammer and chisel and my little hammer too. So we'll crack it out and then use the little hammer to split it open. Put my safety glasses on. Let's extract this ammonite nodule. The surrounding shale is really soft, so it should just pop out this slab rather easily. I'm not having to put much effort into the hammer blows. And you can already see the nodule starting to come out. Yeah, just give that a wiggle. Okay, I can actually see a crushed mouth border of an ammonite. It looks to be a semi salatum ammonite. And I can also see a belemnite running into the nodule. So within this nodule here, there could be an ammonite and a belemnite, which would be pretty cool. So let's set this nodule down onto the slab and we'll try and split it open. Really tough nodule. There we go, we've got a split. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so there's the cross section of an ammonite with the belemnite and the phragma cone running lengthways through the nodule. It's strange how the ammonite's preserved this way in the nodule, whereas the balamnite runs through at a different angle. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. Well, we found a nice selection of fossils today. One of the nodules contained that perfect elegant Tisserus ammonite, which we'll definitely be preparing up. We also got the partial ichthyosaur vertebra, which is a pretty uncommon find. And that other nodule, with ammonites and belemnites within the same nodule, which we could also prepare at a later date. Thanks for watching. Got a couple of scenery clips just to round off the video. We'll see you in the next one.